Welcome to Monday, guys. It's January the 11th, and I'm leaving work. It's a little bit late. Uh, it's like almost 5.30, or it might be 5.30 by this point. I'm not completely sure, but I was supposed to leave at 5, but I had some stuff I really needed to get done, because I, I just had a lot, to, a lot to do today, and it was a good day. I feel completely better, by the way. I am not sick anymore. Well, that's not completely true. I don't feel sick anymore, but I'm still, like, stuffy, and my, like, cough is still coming back every once in a while. I spent a lot of today watching The End of the Tour, uh, which is a movie that just came out this year about David Foster Wallace, um, who wrote Infinite Jest, uh, committed suicide. I don't remember what year, but it was a film about him, basically about him and this Rolling Stone writer who did like a piece on him after Infinite Jest and uh, on the tour, the book tour for Infinite Jest. And it was super, super interesting and I really, really, really liked it a lot. Actually, um, it was Jason Segal of like How I Met Your Mother fame and other things, of course, and he was really good. I was pretty surprised. Basically, I'm trying to catch up on all of the movies in 2015 that I didn't get to watch that I didn't, like, see at all, and I really want to watch all of them. There's, like, 15 of them or something that I made a list of. I'm going to try to watch them all over the next, uh, like, week or two to try and just kind of catch up with that. So I'd like to do, like, a top films that came out in 2015 uh, video on my booktube channel, and then, like, when the Oscars happen, I want to, like, have been able to say that I've, like, seen everything that is is going to be like featured in there so i can actually like give a proper opinion on what should win and i really like this movie a lot it was really interesting it was really quiet and really subtle and just really nice and uh, i just made me feel a lot of things um it made me like really appreciate david foster wallace as a person and i read infinite jest in 2014 uh, the year that I started my booktube channel, and, like, this whole, like, process with it, and I did, like, a couple videos about it, and it was a really big chunk of, uh, a few months of reading, or maybe it was just a month, I can't remember. But yeah, seeing, uh, David Foster Wallace, like, portrayed, and, like, knowing that it was, like, kind of based off this person who knew him for a little while, and, like, wrote a book about him and stuff, is just really, really cool, it was really interesting. Anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Uh, working a lot on stuff and watching the movie kind of sprout throughout the day it's along with like a whole bunch of booktube videos And I think I'm gonna go home and I don't I don't honestly don't know what I'm gonna be doing tonight I, There's a lot of stuff I could do. I don't want to say exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I could edit some vlogs I could I could write I could read I could do nothing <laughs> And I would be fine with a lot of pretty much all of those options just cuz I don't know it's, it's it feels like it's been a long day at work uh, and kind of just want to go home and do whatever. We're doing the laundry, the laundry, the laundry, we're doing the laundry, and it's really, really expensive. Seriously though, no. doing the laundry here is way too expensive, and the machines barely hold anything, and it takes forever to get everything done. I cannot wait until we have our own washing machine and dryer, which admittedly is not going to be for a very long time. A very long time, but whatever. So I set up all my stuff to film a booktube video, and my camera just died. I had to plug it in, I had to pull out one of the batteries and start charging it so I can at least try and film a video tonight. I think I have to go back and pick up the laundry now because it's been like a half hour that I've been kind of dealing with this. Just I've had a lot of weird, little weird things happening with my camera tonight. It's just not been a good night for filming a booktube video, but I'm still going to try. I'm still going to try to do it after this battery is charged a little bit and after I've gone and put in the uh, laundry into the dryer. So obviously my hair is still wet. I just got out of the bath like maybe half an hour ago, maybe a little bit more, and I cut my hair. It's now like maybe three inches shorter. So oh, I cut your hair. yeah, there we go. All my hair is in the trash. And yeah, Chris cut it for me. He cut the back and then I cut the front off. And I don't know, it's probably not perfect. Chris has never cut hair before. He was kind of freaked out. He's like, you want me to cut your hair? I'm gonna ruin it. But I, I don't know, I don't really care. I always wear my hair up anyway. So if it's uneven, it doesn't really matter. And it looks pretty good. So it's a little bit shorter than I was expecting, but I feel like that's how I feel every time I cut my hair. I never really cut that much off. I usually cut like two or three inches and then I feel like I don't even notice after like two weeks. I feel like it's just like normal and stuff. I've had long hair since I was like 
nine or ten I've had long hair. I started growing my hair out when I was six. Um, before then, I would give myself haircuts when I was like five. Up till when I was five, I'd give me and my doll haircuts, and it was not very <laughs> nice. My mom was not very happy about it. She'd always have to cut my hair super short so I didn't look like a crazy child running around with really jagged, ugly hair. Um, and then when I was six, I decided I wanted long hair like a princess, and so I started growing it up out and it's been pretty much long ever since so it's been about the same length since I was 12 just because it doesn't grow past a certain point for me um, I've gone years without cutting my hair and I've gone just like three months at a time and just getting like one inch trims and that doesn't grow out my hair either nothing will grow out my hair past the a little bit longer than this so it was time for that also I'm wearing uh, Minecraft shirt, um, the periodic table of Minecraft, which I think is amusing. <laughs> I got it at the thrift store for a couple bucks, and I was like, yes, thank you for cutting my hair. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hope glad I didn't butcher it yeah. all off and like just go like this and just like. Yeah, I would have killed you. I know. I, probably, I didn't want to die, so that's why I didn't I do it. I probably would have cried. I'm kind of attached to having long hair just because I like doing fun <clears throat> buns and stuff with it. So, yeah, and now. The world will never see it down again for like another five months. <coughs> I wear it perpetually in buns. Again, my hair is already up because that's how I roll, but I just want to talk to you really quickly about my sickness and how I'm feeling. Um, obviously, my voice is a little messed up and stuff, and um, it's kind of sore right now, um, but hopefully that will go away. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, but basically my illness of today has been a runny nose and of yesterday as well. So in the past... 48 hours, I've used this whole box of Kleenex up. Um, there's like a few left in there, and Chris has used a couple, but it's mostly been me blowing my nose with these ridiculous amounts of Kleenex because I've just had a perpetual runny nose, and it's terrible and awful, and I hate it, but what are you going to do? I kind of slept most of yesterday, and then slept most of today as well, and so my sleep schedule is completely on its head just because... I just needed to sleep a lot to feel better and I was feeling that much better last night. I kind of been laying down all day and sitting down all day and I've been standing up for the last little while and now I feel like more sick again. But I did take a bath, a ginger bath. Um, ginger is really good for pulling like toxins out of your body so I did that and it was actually really relaxing and made me feel really good but now just standing up my throat is starting to hurt again so I'm going to sit down and take something for that and hopefully that goes away and doesn't come back again. Also. Laundry's done. Yay. And I filmed a book two video. Yay. Awesome. And then lastly, also, um, for now, I'm just going to try to organize some stuff. Like, I need to clean off the table on the coffee table and a few things around the apartment. I just need to clean up some stuff. So I'm going to watch Project Runway Junior while I'm doing it because I watched the last five episodes when I was cleaning before I got sick. And so now I was going to watch episode six. It's really crazy how talented and creative and everything these people are being a seamstress myself and having not a ton of creativity. And I wouldn't be able to do that, though. Like, I just I'm awed by these like 14 year old children who can like be given something and make these like phenomenal pieces. So I've been watching that. I haven't ever actually really watched Project Runway. I think I've seen like an episode or two, like three or four years ago. So I've never really watched that. I may after watching this, but yeah. So I've been putting away the laundry and cleaning stuff and things, and now I'm working on my computer. Um, my computer died a few months ago, maybe a month ago. It stopped working and Chris took out the battery and now it works as long as it's plugged in, obviously, and we haven't replaced a battery just because we're kind of tight on money and it's not something I absolutely need, so we're stopping. But Chris took my computer apart and when he put it back together, it got this weird like bend in it, so it's like smooth and then it bends up right here and then goes back down. And you can see it from underneath as well. It's like bulging right here. And it's not something I noticed right away. I think mostly just because I wasn't closing my computer um, very much because I was just keeping it plugged in at one spot. But now I'm trying to take it apart and figure out what's wrong. Hopefully my computer's not permanently damaged because when there's a big gap when it's closed now because of that bulge. Which means that I won't be able to travel with it because the screen will shatter because of the pressure. So hopefully I can figure this out and it 
goes back to normal and is not permanently ruined, that would be good. This computer is mm, over three years old though, so it wouldn't be the worst thing ever to replace it sometime in the next year. Get one that's faster and doesn't overheat so much and stuff because I've been having a lot of problems with this in the past year. So it would be good to get a new one, but it's not something that's really plausible right now. But yeah, this is what happened. It expanded. I don't know how you can see. Yeah, it's like it totally lifted up. The, it's the battery, the thing that's been messing up my computer. And it expanded in here. We left it in. Yeah, and now it's completely expanded and I don't know what happened why it's giant and huge now and why it's ruining my computer but it totally happened and it's kind of ridiculous so i don't even know if it's worth it to buy a new battery to replace since i won't be able to use this computer for much longer like with traveling and doing anything so i may just live with it being having to keep it plugged in for now and then eventually maybe towards the end of this year buying a new computer to replace it but this is ridiculous i don't know what happened i have no idea why it happened and I'm very confused. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Never seen that before. Hmm. Should have taken it out before, but I didn't I didn't even know. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen, so. Oh my gosh, look at this. Why did this happen? It's like almost an inch thick right there. When it should only be like a quarter of an inch at like and more than doubled in size. I'm really confused. It seems to be closing now pretty well. Like, it's not 100%, but I think it will be okay. I might be able to travel with it again. I don't know. It's like a little gappy. It kind of wants to like pop open right away or whatever, but eh, I think it might be okay. I don't, hopefully you won't shatter the screen or whatever, and it doesn't seem to be too much raised on the bottom either. So hopefully it wasn't permanently damaged and no wonder we didn't, I didn't realize it right away that there was something wrong in there because it happened over time. Like something happened and it gradually expanded and then all of a sudden I was like, why is this swollen? Hopefully it works out okay and is not permanently damaged and it may be worth buying another battery for. It's something that we'll have to look into in the future. I'm so glad it's not terribly ruined though, but just what is up with this battery, man? I'm kind of concerned that it's gonna like explode and kill me, so... Let's just throw that away and pretend it never happened. So it's late, we're going to sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.